Jennifer Shipley from Doodle Punk Art here to settle an argument that's going on online. Um, what I have here is aura quartz. These are titanium aura quartz, and some of them are a combination of titanium and niobium. Um, so we have a person online who has asked to have their mineral specimen identified and they have posted a cluster of quartz crystals with a titanium and niobium coating um, that goes all the way down into the matrix and then there's an area where it has chipped and the coating is off and you can see very clearly if you're familiar with these crystals that it is titanium and niobium and there's a guy who is claiming that it is um, quartz crystals with gaphite and hematite coating on the outside um, collected from Graves Mountain and I am here to um, say otherwise. His um, specimen that he posted from Mindat has um, betrayal growth on the surface very clearly and then he's posted another one that um, just has you know you can see it's got texture it's not eroded like this like this, this is a crystal that is, um, it's got a, what you would call an etched surface, basically in the last stages of growth, um, another mineral was forming on the outside and that was a softer mineral, which eroded over time, you know, after the crystal stopped growing. Um, and if it had continued to grow, it would have sealed it in as a phantom, but it did not. And so you have this rough surface that nobody really wants. Um, so what do they do? They throw them in a vacuum chamber and put vapors of metals in there and it creates this beautiful surface on there. But you can see it's etched. It isn't a crystal growing on the outside. Um, so there's a very clear distinction between the two. Um, yeah, so I hope that solves the um, issue here. Um, his claim is that because it's not shiny, you know, that all, he says that all titanium aura quartzes are shiny. Um, that is just not the case. It just depends on how much, um, you know, first of all, it depends on how shiny the surface is to begin with, and then how much of the metal was coated on there. So when you have something, you know, if you're a painter or, you know, a woodworker or something, if you know, you know, from experience that when you have a surface that is not smooth, it requires more material to um, coat it because it has more surface area. Um, all those little bumps and valleys and, and um, you know, planes on there, you know, increase the surface area and it just takes more material to get a shiny coating on there.